Friday, Mr. Gatekeeper here. I have a very neat amplifier right here, man. This is an outcome. Stepped on a frog. This is an outcome OPA202. Okay, I'm gonna explain what this is. This is a Texas Star. <clears throat> this is what Texas Star was before Texas Star was Texas Star. All right, the main builder at Texas Star designed these wide banded amplifiers first okay these amplifiers were designed to be used from 2 to 30 megahertz all you had to do back then was just get you an output filter that would work from 160 meters down to 10 and switch from filter to filter and have no problem getting to uh, getting at least 100 watts on each band with a 4 watt drive They were fun, man. And uh, they're hard to find in good condition like this. I mean, this thing is in superb condition. I don't even know if the top's ever been took off before I took it off, okay? Shout out to Mr. Chris out there. I'm actually uh, pushing this for him. I'd love to have it myself. I would absolutely love to. But what I was shocked to see is there are two SRF 2072s in this thing. And what you're, what you're about to see is these things are performing. Like some Motorola 454s. Come on, focus in now. Focus in. It's kind of dark right here. Let me get some light. Oh, come on. But you can see in the picture, there they go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with 4 watts drive, okay? 4 watts RMS. And then after that, I'm going to hook this bad boy up to this 100 amp supply over here on the low tap. And I'm going to see if we can't, I'm going to see what this thing's really going to do. You know what I'm saying? I know it's AB biased, I'm just going to do a quick burp on the medium tap. But I want to see what this thing's really going to do. Cause I have a weird feeling this thing could get up to performing almost close to 2879s under pressure. I don't know though. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Pretty much there's your medium. There's your low. Well, I'll take that back. Hold on. All right, four power positions. There's your lowest with both put in. That's low. Okay, low is both pushed in. There's medium, okay. There's medium high. There's high. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Dead carrier. Oh. All right. We're going to medium. Ooh. We're going to medium high. Ooh. We're going to high. Ooh, you like that, didn't you? <laughs> All the way from steps, from pretty much 30 bird to 100 bird right there with a 4-watt drive, okay? Again, low. Ooh. Let's do something neat. Let's do this. Low. Medium. Ooh. Medium high. Ooh. High. Ooh. Pretty neat, ain't it? 
So it goes from pretty much steps from like 25 to 30 RMS up to 100 watts RMS with a 4 watt drive, 14.8 volts. All right, here's your peak on high. Oh, about 220 watts. Here's your oh, here's your input reflect. Oh, oh. Input reflect on high. That was actually input reflect on medium there, or medium high. Oh. Input reflect on high. Dude, yeah, just a little bit more, not much at all. Meter on the front, dude. Dude, and that thing's bright. Sandbar resistor is working. All right, we're about to hook this thing to the 100 amp supply. And the hot radio, I forgot to mention that. So we're going from 4 watts RMS to 8 watts RMS and hooking up the 100 amp supply. Burping time is in session. All right, y'all ready for this? This is a quick burp. Y'all ready to see some? Y'all ready to see two MRF twenty seventy twos performing like two twenty eight seventy nines? Do not do this at home. High tap hundred amp. Two hundred RMS, just a tad under two hundred. PEP, real quick. <laughs> 400 watts. You want another voltage? 19.3 volts. Do not do that at home. Do not do that at home. But that shows you the gain characteristics of Motorola's. Those transistors would not perform that way if they did not have the gain figures too. They would just cut off at the saturation, meaning if they couldn't give no more, that would still, even with that much drive and voltage, it still would only, it still, excuse me, I'm turning the supply off. It still would only sit there at the 200 watts it was doing, 250. Maybe go 110, 120 bird, no. That thing's almost at 200 birds sitting right there peaking at 400 watts. Yes, at 19 volts. Do not run it like that. That was just a burping session. Eight watts drive. Just showing you. You probably want to know, what does it do with the eight watts drive on regular voltage? Hold on. All right, 14.6 volts, eight watts drive. Back on the uh, switcher. Which is pretty much a 60 amp module, 75. It cuts off a little bit before that, but anyway. Alright, so we're on regular voltage now, 14.6. 8 watts drive. Here's your RMS. Look at that, no increase. See, it wanted that extra voltage, is what it wanted. <laughs> your PEP. All right, not, not too much of an increase out of that. Oh, yeah. Once it got on them volts, that's when it started acting wild, <laughs> giving a big increase. So there you go. Pretty much getting about 100 RMS or so, 100 bird or so, 200 watts. That's what these amps are supposed to do. Not 400 watts and 200 bird. <laughs> These amps are the best drivers you pretty much can even ask for with four power settings. I mean, come on, man. All right, off the eBay it goes. I'm going. Bye, bye, bye.